Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss an example for rate of change. So given the situation, water is poured into a right inverted cone. So in here, we have a right inverted cone of height. So where we have the H with a semi-vertical angle, 60 degree. So meaning that in here, we have a 60 degree. So notice that we have R as well for the radius. So they said the water is poured, okay, at a constant rate, 25 pi cm cube per second. So meaning that in here, we have another info, which is dV dt is equals to 25 pi. The first step is to extract the info. And one more thing maybe we can add on is the formula for the cone. So where we have V is equals to pi r square h over 3. Kali refers to the question A. Show that the rate of change of the height of the water is the dt equals to 25 over 3 h square. So we are interested in rate of change of the height. So meaning that we have dh dt next we are going to show the situation so first step is to extract the info from the question and list out the formula second step is to write the chain rule so where we have dh dt is equals to dv dt multiply with where we have the dh dv so kindly refers to the situation. So meaning that we are going to express the formula V in terms of H. Then only we can differentiate the V with respect to H. So kindly focus on the formula. V is equals to pi r square H over 3. And make use of the ratio that we have in the right angle, triangle, where we have the degree, 60 degree, and the height and the radius. So as we all know, tangent 60 degree is equals to opposite where we have R over H. So if you press the calculator for tangent 60 degree and we will have the answer is square root of 3 equals to R over H. So R will be equals to square root of 3 multiplied with the H. Next, Kindly substitute the R into the formula. So where we have V is equals to pi H over 3 bracket R squared, where we will have 3 H square. So simplify the situation. So V is equals to pi H cube. Next, we're going to differentiate the situation with respect to H, where we will have dV dH is equals to 3 pi h square. Next is to substitute the situation where we have dh dt is equals to 25 pi multiply with the dh dv, meaning that we need to flip the situation and we will have 1 over 3 pi h square. Next, simplify the situation. And we will have dh dt is equals to 25 over 3 h square. And kindly refers to the question A and we have already shown the situation. B. Find the rate of change of the height of the water after 5 seconds. So we are looking for dh dt when the t is equals to 5 second. So as we all know, dv dt is equals to 25 pi. So meaning that if 1 second, we will have 25 pi cm cube. If it's a 5 second, so meaning that we are going to use the 25 pi multiply with the 5. So the volume will be equals to 1, 2, 5, pi, cm, cube. Next, kindly substitute the situation 
125 pi is equals to pi h cube. So h cube will be equals to 1 to 5. So h will be equals to 5. Next, kindly substitute the situation into the dh dt when the h is equals to 5. So meaning that 25 over 3 bracket 25 when the h is equals to 5. So finally, the dh dt is equals to 1 over 3 cm per second when the t is equals to 5 second. C. Given the height of the cone is 20 cm. So meaning that h is equals to 20. So v will be equals to 20 cube pi. v is equals to 8000 pi cm cube. Find the time taken to fill up the cone completely with water. So we are looking for the time. So in here, as we all know, dv dt is equals to 25 pi. So meaning that one second, we can fill up the volume 25 pi. So question asking t second, meaning that the time taken to fill up the cone when the volume is 8000 pi. So by using the fraction form, and we will have 1 over t is equals to 25 pi over 8000 pi. So t will be equals to 8000 pi over 25 pi. So t will be equals to 8000 over 25. So finally, the t will be equals to 320 second in order to fill up the 8000 pi cm cube. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.